Okay, sixth grade, lesson 45. This is on dividing a decimal number by a whole number. Okay, so write this problem on your paper. And this is an example of what we're going to be looking at today. Okay, dividing a decimal number by a whole number. Okay, and this is actually pretty simple. Okay, you're going to pretend like the decimal's not there and work the problem like normal. Now, something I always try to remind myself when there's a decimal number in here and then there's a whole number over here, you're just going to slide this up, okay? As long as this is a whole number, all you have to do is slide your decimal up. We'll talk about if you have to divide by a decimal number later, okay? So, we're just going to slide it up. Now, we can just pretend like that says 42 and we work it like normal. So, we go 3 goes into 4. One time, one times three is three. Bring down. Three goes into 12 four times. Four times three is 12. And that ends up making it very even. So the answer ended up becoming is 1.4. Okay? All right, let's try another one. Write this number on your paper. Okay? So what would be my very first step? Slide the decimal up. Very good, okay? And so a lot of people like to take every number. It helps them. So if you want to go 3 goes into 0 and put a 0 here, you can. And 0 times 3 is 0. And then you would just bring down just like that. Then 3 goes into 2, 0 times. 0 times 3 is 0. Subtract, bring down. 3 goes into 24, 8 times. 8 times 3 is 24 and we get an even answer, okay? Now, it's very important that you have these zeros in here. They're called placeholders. If nothing was filling those in, then it would just be 0.8, and that's not the right answer. It's not 8 tenths, it's 8 hundredths, okay? So it's very important that you're actually multiplying each of these numbers, okay? But if you didn't do the zeros in the beginning, you could actually look at the problem like this. Let me show you. Okay, remember we told you to bring up the decimal? You could have said 3 goes into 24 8 times. And it doesn't go into 2 8 times. It goes into 24. So we have to put the 8 over the whole number. So it has to go in this spot. So then we just fill in everything else with zeros. And you can put a zero here if you want to. So you could have done it either way. It's okay, whichever. Okay? Let's try one more. This says 0 0.6 divided by 5. Okay? So, what's my first step? Bring up my decimal. Good. And then I go 5 goes into 6 one time. 5 times 1 is 5. Subtract that and get 1 left over. Okay. Now, here's a part that you need to make sure you're paying attention. Okay? If you have a decimal number, you can't just bring up your 1 and then bring your 5 over. That's a mixed number and a decimal. They don't go together. It's either one or the other. You either have a decimal number or a mixed number, okay? So, guess what I have to do? Remember how zeros don't matter and you can keep adding them? We're going to add a zero to this, okay? You see what I did? Okay? And that's going to help me because I don't have anything and I can't put remainder 1 because that also is wrong. You can't have a decimal number and a remainder at the same time either. So we have to add a, a 0, okay? Then I'm going to bring that down. And 5 will go into 10 two times. 2 times 5 is 10. And that actually ends the process and the answer becomes 0.12 or 12 hundredths, however you want to say that, okay? So it's very important. Let's do one more of these that's like that, and you help me walk through it, okay? 0 0.3 divided by 4. Okay, walk me through it. Okay, uh, you bring, the decimal bring the decimal up. Okay, now here's a problem because 4 will not even go into 3. Well, you go into zero first. Right. Okay, so let's go into zero. Four will go into zero. 
Zero. Zero times. Zero times four is zero. Subtract. Bring it down. Four goes into three. You want zero, zero again. Add a zero on the... Not yet. Not yet. Okay. We're going to do all the um, these processes first. And when there's nothing else to bring down, that's when we add a zero. Four goes into three uh, zero times? Zero times. Zero times four is zero. Now... We're done. There's nothing else to bring down yet. I can't do three-fourths right here, and I can't put remainder three right here. So what do I have to do? Add a zero. Add a zero. At that point, so we bring it down. Four goes into 30. Seven times. Seven times four is 28. Okay. I get, subtract, I get two. Okay, so I did the dad, mom, sister. Okay, so I subtracted. Now I'm going to bring down, but guess what? There's nothing to bring down, and I can't put over two fours. I add another zero. Excellent job. Bring that down. Four goes into 20. Five times. I'm going to extend my line just to help me. Five times four is 20, and that makes it even, and we're done with the problem. So that one, we actually had to end up adding two extra zeros to help us. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So when you keep doing this divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, you keep doing it, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down until there's nothing else to bring down. And then if there, it doesn't come out even, you have to add a zero to keep it going, okay? That is lesson 45.